Hi YouTubers, this is Belinda Reedy, The Witch in Love, and today I'm bringing you a quick little video on sigil and sigil magic. Now, uh, since it's getting really quick, it's getting dark here really quickly, beautiful night here in deep south Texas, really pretty out here right now, but I want, I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I'm going to just go ahead and do it. So sigil magic, what is sigil magic? Sigil magic is when you take names or... When you take names or symbols and incorporate them into one one paper or one, um, that was my husband. Usually into one paper. Now, sigil magic can be used when you want to keep it undercover. If you're doing magic, you, this is fantastic work when you're working um, at the work. Area you want people to know you're, you're practicing what you're practicing, magic. Um, it's also great to use um, at school, like I said, because um, people have to be so um, careful about what they do and where they do it. This is fantastic magic to practice. So that's just the basics. Now, sigil magic can incorporate symbols, ruin symbols can incorporate names of couples or it can incorporate um, sentences. It can incorporate colors to intensify your um, intention. All you need is the color of pencil, even if it's pencil or black or whatever, you can find the color even better. Piece of paper. Right now I'm using this just random piece of paper. It's got something on the other side, but it's not really gonna be used. It's just for the use of showing you what I'm gonna do. So now, I am going to do something really simple and fast. This is going to be a really quick video, I hope. So if I can get the paper here, and if I can post uh, so that you can up. I'm going to just go ahead for time's sake, use this black marquee here. And now, when you do magic or sigil magic, you never want to write your sigil magic on the same paper that you're writing your sentence. Or your, I'm sorry. Your sentence or your intentions. I'm so sorry for this. It's all over the place. Let me put my beer there. Hopefully that holds it up. Okay, so when you're doing sigil magic, you don't want to put the two papers together. So you're going to have one aside. Now here I'm going to write my intention. So I'm going to go to... Go, what can I write? Um, I'm going to say... Now another thing I want to bring up. When you want something, let's say you want prosperity, say, I have prosperity in my life. Never say, I want prosperity, I desire this, I desire that. Because you will always desire it, you'll never have it. So always put your intentions down in the present sense. So I'm going to do this sigil here really quick. I'm going to say, Jane and Joe. Just for the sigil's sake, okay? So Jane and Joe are in love. Jane loves Joe. And they're married, and they, she wants to incorporate um, love into their, um, or, or bond them more. So, sigil is very easy. A lot of people, what they say to, for you to do is to cross out the vowels as they come along. Everyone does it differently. It's all up to you. Other people will, will not repeat. If there's two E's here, if I write one E, I'll cross out another E. That's what I do. I do that, so I don't re repeat myself. So, quickly, how do you do a sigil? Sigil magic, here it comes. So, I'm going to just be as creative and artistic as I can be. This is where sigil magic comes into play. Because you're going to put your intention. Let me see here. And you're going to just make it fancy. J, J. I've crossed them out here. Okay? J, J. Jane. So, I want to make it nice. Let me see, what can I do for it? A... I can go ahead and just do this. See that? A out, A out, N. N. See that? The way it incorporates, the way they're connected together, and this is what we're doing. We're bringing this marriage even closer and, and, and incorporating that intention for them to be at one. We need E, very easy to do here, E. And that will cross out the E. So we're done with J, and now we just need O. 
the gel. Now, I am just going to simply do a circle around. Okay? Now, if you wanted to add more attention to this, like I say, goddess protection, you can do the goddess symbol, which is very easy. Here we go. You could do um, God the god symbol, which would be the circle and the top. You can add incorporate ruin symbols, any kind of symbols. Remember, the color also increases your intention. I hope you've understood this video. It was a really quick, basic technique on how to do sigil magic. I love you guys. Please look for me on To Love a Witch uh, or Belinda Reedy. I love you guys. Please subscribe and um, share. Love ya.